You maybe know that you can use these craft sticks from Dollar Tree for so many crafts, but you can also use them to decorate your house, to make some projects and hacks that you're going to love. So stay tuned because you're gonna love this one. Welcome back to my channel, so excited to have you here. Hopefully you can hear me well because it's raining so bad. But anyways guys, in today's video I want to share with you some hacks and DIYs that you can do using these craft sticks or popsicle sticks like I call them um, from Dollar Tree to create home decor pieces that you are going to love. If you like this video, a big thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and I hope that you are ready because I am. Let's DIY together. Okay guys, for this project you are going to need some canvas and I got this ones from Five Below. They come in a set of three in three different sizes um, and as you can see the shape that they have is a square shape. You can use the ones from Dollar Tree but they always bring like the rectangle ones but that's up to you. You can use the one that you like the most. For this project I'm going to be using two canvases in two different sizes. I'm gonna get the bigger one and the smaller one and I need to use only like the wood frame so I'm going to be using my staple remover I'm going to remove all of the staples to be able to take out the canvas fabric now you can paint those frames in any color you like maybe some stain but um, because they have like staples on the front part I decide just to cover them using some shock paint in a black color so I'm going to give these two frames a really good coat of black color and then I'm going to let them dry Once they're dry, this is how they look. For this project, I really want to make a photo frame with so many details to have a high-end look at the end. So I'm going to be sticking these two um, frames together and for, that, and for that I'm going to be using popsicle sticks. I'm going to cut my popsicle sticks and I'm going to start sticking them between the big wooden frame and the small wooden frame and you can do these as you want. You maybe can create different shapes or designs. You can just stick them all together. I'm going to start sticking one popsicle stick on each side and then I'm going to stick two other pieces in the center like creating a triangle. Hope that makes sense. You can see what I'm doing. This is just for you to have an idea on how you can create a nice design using popsicle sticks. Once I have that part ready, I want to put a photo. So for that, I'm going to be first using the canvas fabric from the smaller canvas. And I'm going to cut all of the edges to be able to stick that on the back part of the wooden frame. Once that part is ready, um, you can go to Walgreens maybe or any place that you can print your photo or maybe like an instant photo. And you can stick that on the center of this photo frame. Once I'm done, this is how my project turned out. It was so easy, so fun to make. And I think I have a very cool high-end look photo frame that I can put in any part of my home. And it's going to look absolutely beautiful. I just used some canvases and popsicle sticks that you can get from Dollar Tree. Okay, for this project, I'm going to recreate something that I used when I was little. And I think you can still find these type of hanging decor piece um, in stores. But I want to make it at home super easy on a budget and in a very small version for my daughter's bedroom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start using these popsicle sticks from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to start using four. I'm going to stick them all together, creating a square. To stick this together, you can use maybe wooden glue or you can use hot glue this is going to dry so much faster but I highly recommend the wooden glue to make this project really really strong now I'm going to be creating two of the same square pieces using the popsicle sticks and once I have that part done I'm going to stick both of these square pieces together from one side
okay now they look like small diamonds and now the fun part I have these like small wooden caps um, you can get them at Dollar Tree you can get them from Walmart any other craft store you can do so many things with these but this time I'm going to use them to put them on every single side of these peas I'm going to be using a total of seven of these wooden caps and like I said I'm going to stick one on each side now guys this project is done I told you super easy so much fun to make I hang these on my daughter's bedroom and she can hang some very light stuff but it's going to add a beautiful wooden touch on any space and you can use it for so many things and remember if you want this project to be a little bit more strong you can use wooden glue For this next project, I'm going to be using these Jumbo Popsicle Sticks. You can maybe get this at Dollar Tree or if not, you can get these for sure at Walmart. Now, I'm going to get a few and as you can see, all of the Popsicle Sticks have like a round edge on each side. Well, I need to make sure that one side of the Popsicle Sticks is straight. So I'm going to make a line on all of them and then I'm going to cut that side using my scissors. Now it's time to paint your popsicle sticks. For this project, you can use any color you like. You maybe can make these super colorful or you can make it a little bit more neutral depending on the colors that you want to use. This time I want to make these to look a little bit more rustic. So I'm going to use some wax in antique color. I'm going to use black. I'm going to use like a very light gray, a cream tone. And you can also like mix the colors to create your own tone tone for this project i paint three popsicle sticks of each color this is how they all turn out and the colors that i choose now you are going to need a cylinder vase you can get like a glass cylinder vase from dollar tree maybe or you can reuse anything that you have at home because the idea is to cover that with all of the popsicle sticks so you can use whatever you have at home you can use wooden glue hot glue and just stick all of the popsicle sticks around that cylinder vase creating a pattern and once they're dry basically that's it this is how the project turned out you can add maybe flowers on top or greenery like i did and this is how the project looks i absolutely love this project it looks so beautiful love the colors that i choose and like the vibe it brings and i just absolutely love this project so much fun using popsicle sticks For this next project, you are going to need two of these round wooden sticks. You can get these from Dollar Tree, from the, the plungers that they sell, and, and you can cut the bottom part of them, or you maybe can get these round wooden sticks from Lowe's or Home Depot. Now, I want to make a ladder. It depends on how big or long you want your ladder to be. This is going to be a very small ladder, so these round wooden sticks from Dollar Tree are perfect. Now, you're going to need some popsicle sticks too. I got the Yumbo ones and I'm going to stick two popsicle sticks together to make sure that like the steps of the ladder are going to be pretty strong I'm going to stick them with hot glue and then I'm going to start sticking those um, popsicle sticks into the round wooden sticks to create my ladder make sure that you leave the same space between each of the popsicle sticks and then you can start painting you can use any color you can paint your ladder in just one color if you want I decide to go with Two. First, I'm going to use my verbally waxing antique color and I'm going to paint like two thirds of the ladder in this waxing antique color. Once it is dry, I'm going to get the black shock paint and I'm going to start painting the other part of my ladder that needs to be painted. And just to have like a perfect straight line between those two colors, you can add a little bit of tape and once you paint that, you can remove the tape. Thank you. 
once I'm done, this is how the project turned out. And this is a perfect touch maybe for a bathroom or your kitchen to be able to hang those hand towels. This is a cute, super cool idea that I love. I love how these ladders turn out and it's so easy and fun to make. I found this planter trolley at Dollar Tree and it's so nice it has wheels and it comes I think in three different colors um, I decided to go with the very neutral one but later I decided to paint it so I'm going to be removing the sticker it has and I'm going to be painting this with some spray paint in black color and then I let it dry when I was painting these I decided to remove the like the wheels that it has but if you paint with the wheels um, maybe they're going to stay they stick so you can remove them it's going to be easier for paint and then you can just add them on the bottom part of this planter trolley now I want to work on a vase for this planter I decided to go rustic so I'm going to be used um, a cardboard from Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut a circle the same size of my planter and then I'm going to be using some Yumbo craft sticks um, that I have you can get these from Walmart or I think Dollar Tree sells them in a smaller size so you can try to find that and then I'm going to be cutting one side to make sure it has a straight edge and then I'm just going to start adding hot glue on my cardboard and start sticking all of the craft sticks I'm not creating like any exact pattern but I just wanted to cover the whole circle so yeah that's what I did it's super easy and simple and fast to make Now that they are all stick, I'm going to be using some really good scissors and I'm going to start cutting um, the sticks. My black cardboard on the back is going to be my guide. So I just cut them. It's pretty easy to cut if you have good scissors. And then you can use a sanding sponge to sand all of the edges to make it look so much better. now you can paint it any color i want to have like that wood texture um so i decided to go with some wax i add a little bit of water just to make it easier to paint and the color is going to be a little bit lighter i paint the whole piece and then i'm going to be drying these with my heat tool works amazing i'm going to leave you the link in the description box of this product And once that part is ready and everything is dry, you can add some hot glue on the base of your planter and then you can add a circle with the sticks. And yeah, this is all super easy DIY that anyone can do with these planter trolleys from Dollar Trees that you can get right now. This is perfect to make it a tray, add some plants, maybe you can put it outside on your backyard and it's going to look awesome. My love, this is how this video turned out and I hope that you like it, that you can get some ideas on how you can use popsicle sticks to create home decor pieces that are going to look amazing in your home with a high-end look if you like this video please say big thumbs up let me know in the comments which of these ideas is one of your favorites and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel thank you so much for the love and support and see you in the next one bye guys